The Auditory Oral School of New York's mission is to give deaf children a voice in their future. Each day, over 150 deaf preschoolers learn to listen and speak in their Brooklyn-based center. The staff also travels 365 days a year to homes throughout the metropolitan region to bring the gift of speech to children. Hearing impairment is the number one birth defect or anomaly occurring in the USA. The demand for AOSNY's services increases daily. The experts at AOSNY recognize that oral education for the deaf is profoundly impacted by new technology. Digital hearing aids, sound fields, advances in amplification technology, and the cochlear implant have created dramatic changes within the last decade. At the same time, technology which facilitates detection of hearing loss at birth has become widely available. As a result of early detection and appropriate intervention, the Auditory Oral School is able to assist. 97% of the students who pass through its doors are mainstreamed into kindergarten. Now AOSNY is teaming with David Bourne, a principal system scientist at Carnegie Mellon University's world-famous Robotics Institute, to develop robots and robotic scenarios that will interact with the deaf children and help them to learn to speak in an even shorter time frame. The robots will provide a stimulating and entertaining learning environment in which to encourage these young children to develop and practice using their voice and language skills. Initially, the robots interacting with the children will be based on the four-legged Sony Ibo robot dog that Carnegie Mellon professor Manuela Veloso has used since 1997 to develop championship robot soccer teams. So they can sense the world, make decisions, and actually move. The robot's speech recognition systems were also developed by Carnegie Mellon researchers over the past four decades. This combination of speech recognition and robotic technology will be used to teach many aspects of language. For example, Educational curriculums will be developed to teach the association between word and object, to teach complex scripts that can accurately control an environment, to control the speech accuracy requirements for communication, and to learn complex conversational skills. Early tests of the robotic system have astounded educational professionals and children alike. Together, the children and robots are developing listening and spoken language skills in a cognitively based environment. This collaboration marries the skills of both partners in a highly effective and entertaining way.